Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to look into microwave ovens, and in particular, the microwaves that they emit. And in this microwave oven, we have a jar of water, which is going to absorb our microwaves. And we're going to use this meter to record the microwave emissions. And this is a professional meter, and it will give us a very accurate reading of what's actually going on with this microwave oven. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the microwave. And just before I do that, we should note that the background environment is around 100 millivolts per meter in this room right now. So if we were in a forest, it would actually be zero. So this is a reflection of the society that we live in today that uh, our standard background microwave radiation level is far higher than the levels that you'll find in nature. So let's turn on our microwave and see what's going on with it. Here's our meter, it's just started picking up on the microwaves. And we've also changed scales, we're, also, we're on volts per meter right now. Let's see what's going on around this microwave oven. We're getting very, very high levels coming out. Now I should mention that this microwave oven is actually putting out more power than a Wi-Fi unit emits. And there's a whole bunch of people reporting sickness around Wi-Fi units and Wi-Fi computers. It looks like it's one of the next modern plagues to hit society. So this microwave oven is actually emitting more power than a Wi-Fi unit. My Wi-Fi unit, the highest power I've actually seen come out of it is about 9 volts per meter. So, we're far exceeding that with this microwave oven. So let's step back and see what the kitchen's like. So you can see the immediate vicinity in this kitchen. You're getting very high levels of microwaves in here. And this is a concern if you work with microwaves all the time because if you're working with microwaves all the time and your microwave's doing this, you're probably going to develop microwave sickness. And microwave sickness has a wide variety of symptoms associated with it. And most doctors cannot diagnose it. And most people don't actually understand that they have microwave sickness. And as such, there's a lot of people walking around who have microwave sickness and don't actually realize it is microwave sickness. And if you want to find out more about this subject, you'll find it in here. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.